This is for building up the calf. Looks real funny, but it's real good. Turn around and walk back. Hey guys, so today I'm doing another 50s through the 90s collaboration. On my channel, I have a little collaboration series where each channel highlights trends and traditions from the decades between the 50s and the 90s, and each of those videos has a theme. So I have done a day in the life of a 1950s housewife, and then it went all the way to the 90s with the other channels, and then a Christmas one. I feel like each decade has such iconic diet fads and workout trends. So of course I had to add this video to the series and it was a really fun one. So for this fitness through the decades, we have Sweet Emmeline doing the 50s. I'm super excited to be collaborating with her. Her channel is very vintage inspired. So if you love these types of videos, definitely check out her channel. This time I'm doing the 60s. A little about a lot is doing fitness in the 70s. Bits and Clips is doing the 80s, and Ariana Flutter is doing fitness in the 90s. I will have all of their videos linked down below, so make sure you go check them out. That's one of my favorite things about this collaboration is when you watch the videos in their order one by one, you really just get to kind of take a blast through time and see how much things have changed through the decades, and this workout one is gonna be so fun to watch. So I have been doing a ton of research over the past month on fitness in the 60s, and I learned a ton of stuff that I'm excited to share with you guys. So first I'll start with the 60s get up. For my hair, I definitely wanted to do a beehive. Beehives were super popular in the 60s, and I was excited and nervous to see if I could pull it off. So I started out by teasing my hair as much as I possibly could, and then I found this video that I'll link down below showing you how to do a super easy beehive, and I was shocked that it actually worked, especially since my hair is so long. For my makeup, I had kind of wanted to go the mod route inspired by Twiggy, but I thought for a workout video that might be a little bit much, so I went a little bit more classic. For my workout clothes, it was kind of hard to find exactly what they would wear in the 60s for workouts because a lot of things that I was finding were women just completely like decked out in skirts and things. <laughs> but I did learn that a lot of times when women would go to the gym, they would wear a gym uniform, which was pretty much just like a romper. So I got these two options. This first one is a very lightweight mauve romper with a V-neck that was very comfortable. And then this one I got from Forever 21. It was a button down and it has blue and white stripes with a collar neck, but I was also kind of swimming in it, so I decided to wear the other one for the video. Okay, now on to workouts. So I tried my hand at some 60s workout routines. So the 60s basically tried to make workouts as easy as possible, making it to where you just had to like stand in one place or sit down or lay down and the workout would be done for you by using things like the belt massager that would jiggle or vibrate your fat away. They also used wooden rolling machines that promised to break down fat. And then there was also a really popular little workout thingamajig called the trim and twist. It was just a little board that you would stand on and twist your hips, <laughs> kind of replicating like dancing, but while only having to stand in one spot. And I was able to find a modern version of this that I was really excited to try out. Okay, I'm gonna try this for the first time. We'll see how this goes. It's moving when you step on it. Okay, I'm on. <laughs> I'm gonna fall. Oh, oh, look at me. You know, you do feel the burn. Whoa, you do feel a burn. What? <laughs> the tighter you can do it, the more you feel the burn. See if I can do it while like kind of squatting. I feel like I'm doing one of those skiing things, but it's more of like a this kind of thing. <laughs> kind of works out your back muscles. I feel like I have to have my hands. It's kind of hard to do it while filming. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. It's all good fall. I like this thing. This is something that I can like totally do, and you feel the burn. 
small and compact. <laughs> Does it take up any room in your house? If you really squat, <laughs> you get a leg workout too. Get some weights like this. Oh, look at that coordination. I'd say that I really like that thing. <laughs> On to the next workout. So Debbie Drake was a fitness expert in the 60s and she was the first woman to star in a daily exercise show. Her show was called the Debbie Drake Show and it went from the early 60s to 1978. And I thought it would be fun to follow one of her workout routines. Hi, I'd like to have all of you girls telling yourself every morning I just don't have the energy to exercise along with Debbie. I want you to join me just this morning and then see if you don't feel better after you finish. Okay, now come on, get up out of your chair and try this one. Put your hands behind your back and just bend over and bounce and back up. Bend and bounce and up. Bend and step. <laughs> up and bounce and up. Now let's see how simple this one can be. Just put your hands out in front. Now twist them over, twist from the arm, and then twist back, and twist, and twist, and twist, and twist, and twist, and twist, twisting from the shoulder, and twist, and twist. Now and let's twist. work on the leg and the tummy. Bring your knee into the, into the tummy, and then out, and touch, stretch, and one, and two, five, and six. That actually is seven, kind of a workout, strangely eight, enough. Fun is looking exercise for you today. It's for the calves, but I want you to do it. It's real good for building up the calves. I want you to squat down and then just walk. What? Squat and walk. This is for building up the calves. Looks real funny, but it's real good. Turn around, walk back. <laughs> can you feel the pull in the calves? <laughs> I actually can down. feel that burn. If you're not, we'll squat down a little further, then you can really feel it. This also will firm up your thighs. I have a lot of letters from girls working in an office and they get this double chin. Well, for any of you girls that want to get rid of the chin, let's look up to the ceiling and then turn your head to the right side, look up, turn to the left, and one, and two, three, and four. I want you to bend forward and as you do, stretch your arms straight to the side and kick the left leg up. Bend over, the left leg goes up. Oh! Feel that in the buttocks area. And two. Yeah. Three. Whoa. And ten. Can you feel a good pull right in the back of your legs when you do that? Uh huh. I have a problem back here too. Is Definitely. Too? Now let's go forward on the left foot and kick the right leg behind. She's going down more and than I am. Four, five. I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> Again, that was a really good workout. Um, I definitely felt the burn and I think I'm gonna um, include some of those exercises in my normal exercising routine, which is currently non-existent, but I'm hoping to implement it soon. <laughs> so next I'll talk about the popular diets from the 60s. I learned that Weight Watchers was introduced in 1963. So in 1961, a woman named Jean started inviting her friends to her New York City home to talk about weight loss together and just offer support for each other. And in 1963, Weight Watchers officially launched and 400 people actually stood in line hoping to attend the first Weight Watchers meeting. And of course, as you know, Weight Watchers is still around today with tons of people following their diet program and a lot of celebrities like Oprah. I also learned that artificial sweeteners took off in the 60s. Diet Pepsi was introduced in 1964. And actually, patio, if I'm saying that right, diet soda was Pepsi's first attempt at a diet soda. 
One of the most popular diets in the 60s was called the Drinking Man's Diet. This diet came out in 1964 and it sold 2.4 million copies. This is actually one of the original high protein, low carb diets. And in a nutshell, it encouraged you to eat, quote, man type of food. And then it also wanted you to drink alcohol with lunch and dinners, which is why it's called the drinking man's diet. In 1968, the sexy pineapple diet came out and this was all over beauty magazines and everything. It said that you could eat anything that you wanted five days a week and then two days a week, you could only eat pineapple. And apparently women just went nuts over it, probably because it is so simple and they probably did see success from it, eating nothing but pineapple for two days a week. I'd imagine that you would lose weight from that. Years and years later, the creator of the diet was interviewed and he had admitted that he really didn't put much thought into the diet. He said at the time, a very popular dessert was pineapple with whipped cream on it. And so he thought I could just eat pineapple for two days straight every week and I would lose weight. And he did. And so boom, there you had the sexy pineapple diet. <laughs> So that is going to do it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you guys go check out the rest of the videos involved in the collaboration so you can see what fitness was like in the 50s, 70s, 80s, and 90s and see what trends were in and everything. Everyone had so much fun putting their videos together. This was definitely a fun one. I'm always so appreciative of the channels that choose to jump on this crazy collaboration with me. So please go send them some love for me and subscribe to them while you're there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.